Hey everyone, Mighty Benaya here, um, bringing you an update for day 20. Uh, technically right now it's day 19 and we have about two hours before day change, but I had a few minutes, so I figured I would do the day 20 update right now. So. A uh, couple of things have, a couple of big things have happened recently. Um, so we're going to go from the uh, east to the west, um, and we will discuss things that have happened and plans for the future in each section. So, uh, first major thing that is happening, um, I actually lost a cruiser over here, but uh, Sweden, Maverick, is moving in and pressuring Russia in the north. So we are working on taking St. Petersburg. Uh, Russia did take this province from Denmark, um, and I don't remember if that happened before or after the last video I did, but they did move in with several artillery pieces, which are right here, um, in order to uh, fight uh, Denmark. So what we are doing is we are slowly moving uh, some troops south, uh, Sweden is moving troops south to take over this province and threaten St. Petersburg. What that has forced Russia to do is bring um, artillery pieces, oh, also uh, moving troops and artillery south to take this province. So we're moving in from the north and the south and pinching St. Petersburg, the capital of Russia. So Russia has had to move troops north to deal with that. Um, they have not had to deal a lot with um, this southern flank, um, but Germany is also poised to strike at Russia here. Um, you can see two German cruisers there, um, and in addition to the Swedish cruiser. Um, and so as we pinch from both directions, um, pushing Russia into an unfavorable position, they've had to pull a lot of their troops from the south. Now, Austria is pretty much gone. Poor Spankerton is about dead. Um, the Ottomans pushed in and took uh, Budapest and uh, then Vienna, and Germany declared war and has taken Prague, um, Krakow, um, all of this, all of these territory, Linz, um, he already had Munich. Um, and he is pushing towards Innsbruck, and we are pushing to take Trieste. So we are about to knock him out of continental Europe. His team has already given him, and we'll go over this later, uh, this territory. So he will remain on the map. Um, but we have taken a huge amount of territory. Um, Austria-Hungary is no longer a threat in this game. They do have uh, a sizable... Uh, amount of troops, but they have been moving those troops steadily. Um, there's no fort here anymore, um, and they have been steadily moving those troops back um, in, in retreat. Uh, Germany and I traded a single province so that I would have a place to um, land and regenerate morale on troops on the continent. Um, so not really, not really anything <clears throat> um, super important there. You can see that, you know, this um, province is blue and this one's green now. Not really anything big there. Um, we are, though, now attacking Nancy. Um, I actually, we might be able to see it arrive. Uh, two minutes. Okay, so as long as we look in two minutes, we'll be able to see all of them hit. Um, so let's go over the other things real quick. Um, I am moving 19 troops down into Italy to cut off any retreat and also just absolutely go through. I think Italy is really struggling on troop count. They've got one troop here, one here. Not sure what they have here, but I've got a cruiser coming up to assist. They've already lost this province, Palermo, which is their oil production. Um, so they are hurting all the way through the Italian peninsula. And part of that is because they sent so much into Austria-Hungary to help defend. And whenever Germany and Ottomans simultaneously declared war and crushed 
um, Austria-Hungary with artillery barrages, there just wasn't much left. Um, so moving on over, so we've obviously got this attack. I am also pushing in, I've got a cruiser. Um, I pushed in with infantry first to take an attack. Um, these two cruisers are at full health and I'm trying to knock out an artillery. He does have an additional artillery coming up, so I'm gonna have to watch that closely. Um, but we've got um, these two cruisers trying to knock out three uh, Spanish artillery pieces um, so that we can have another landing zone for uh, the invasion of France. Um, it looks like Spain has realized that his position here is untenable, so he is retreating. And then Spain is the one, Spain, I always get carried, I said this last time, I always get carried, is carrying the team. Um, and he has uh, knocked out Morocco. Um, our friend Alfadago, I mentioned last time, I think he had given up. Um, I was incorrect. He actually was on vacation and was unable to log in. Um, so it was just really bad timing. They timed all of their attacks on Morocco perfectly. Um, it was at the exact right time for them. Um, and so the first, the first invasion, he just obliterated them. The second invasion, they knocked out his cap because he was away, wasn't able to respond. Uh, and then he pushed them out again. And then this last one, um, they, they pushed in and he wasn't able to respond and he went on vacation and they just knocked him out completely. Um, so they have given Austria-Hungary this province, so he is safe to cast. Um, he may be able to cast after he has been eliminated. We'll actually talk to Alpha Dago about that um, to make sure that um, he will be able to view and cast once you're eliminated. Um, but we wanted to at least make sure that he could go through the entire series um, because he is casting all of this. Lastly, let's check on the time. Oh, I missed it. I missed it, but we knocked out five infantry and we knocked out their... Um, this is good. We knocked out five infantry. We knocked out their fort. So they no longer have a level two fort, it is a level one fort, which means we can see inside. We knocked out their railway, so they, it's going to take time for them to pull anybody else in. And uh, Germany needs to go ahead and move in because I'm pulling the artillery shot from Spain, but this artillery is tied up and can't, should not be able to actually attack anything because it's being attacked by infantry. So that's really good. Um, that is all set. Uh, the last thing that I want to address before I go, 18 hours. Uh, this By this time tomorrow, by uh, tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to have a battleship. So we've got one battleship to take out all of these Spanish artillery. There's one, two, three, uh, four, five. I think that's a sixth. And I know he has some down here. Um, so we'll say, we'll say eight artillery. So we've got one battleship that can outrange the artillery there. And look at that. There's the second one. And that one won't be done quite so soon. It'll be done in one day and eight hours. Um, so uh, six hours after day change, um, which will be a little bit late for um, Silver Star, uh, but it's looking really, really good. So um, yeah, at this point, what I told my team is yesterday was fantastic. We took a lot of ground. Today, day 20, we are going to... I, I anticipate it being a big day as well because we're going to make progress in Russia, we're going to make progress in France, we're going to make progress in Italy, we're probably going to all, all but finish off Austria. So the only, the only untouched nation is the juggernaut. Um, I always get carried, carried away, um, because he is, he, if, if it were not for his teammates being targeted, he would be carrying away this 
this game. But he'll be the last one that's untouched, and I've got we've got battleships coming after him. And he might be building railguns. It's possible, but he could build railguns. Um, here, this is the only location he could theoretically build a railgun because it's the only location he has a railroad and a factory. Um, he doesn't have a factory here. He does have a harbor. Um, he doesn't have a factory here yet. Oop. He No, he doesn't even have a workshop there. Um, he only has a workshop here, so he could theoretically build a factory there, but that's real close to France. So that would be in danger of being lost before he could get a rail gun on. So once those battleships finish, the one here and the one here, it will likely be the end of the line for the other alliance. Um, so yesterday was awesome. Today is going to be great. Tomorrow we get battleships. Um, so this is going to be quite the weekend. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. I am really excited to see how this game finishes out. I'm sure that Spankerton and his crew will have uh, will definitely have some surprises in store for us. Uh, they definitely have over the course of this game, uh, the last several um, the last several weeks. Um, something that you will probably be aware of when you see this, um, except for my team. Um, I have chatted real briefly with Spankerton about doing like a podcast style. Um, he can ask me questions and I can ask him questions before we've watched each other's videos um, to get perspectives, learnings, um, why did you do this? Um, and so um, I'm excited to talk to him about everything that he has done um, in this game. Uh, he and his entire team, it has been uh, really tough um, and they, they've done a really, really good job. Um, but as good as they've done, like my team has done phenomenal. Um, specifically, um, I've had several conversations um, on Discord, uh, voice conversations with Silverstar. Um, he thinks a lot more economically than I do. Whenever I am planning where to attack, I think uh, military, whoop, military strategically. Um, and he thinks about resources. So I'm thinking, hey, I can defend this location better. And he's thinking, hey, you know what? There's no reason that we should take that, um, take that province right now because coal is not going to help us and taking their coal isn't going to hurt them at this point, but maybe in the near future or something like that. So he does a good job thinking about the economics of it. Um, and so having those conversations with him has really um, upped our game as a, as, a, as a coalition, as a team, um, because we've got both sides looking at, looking at all of the different sides as to what we're planning on doing. I'm going to let you go, though. Uh, I will see you next time. I'm really excited to show where this war ends up. Um, like I said, we're finishing off Spankerton. Um, we'll probably work on Batterick and Benjigun here momentarily. I always get carried. Um, you are going to be saved for the last because you have really built up your infrastructure and other than, you know, sending battleships your way, I really don't want to take you on the ground. Um, but yeah, that's all. Uh, until next time, Soli Deo Gloria, and I'll see you next time.